In this video, you'll learn how to route both MIDI and audio into Filterverse using Ableton Live. Filterverse can receive both audio and MIDI at the same time, unlocking powerful features such as MIDI note and velocity modulation, retriggering the ADSR, LFO, and random generator, tuning the internal oscillator, and even sample accurate MIDI CC automation for all parameters. If you simply want to use Filterverse as a standard audio effect, load it into an insert slot in your DAW, no additional setup required. But if you want to take advantage of Filterverse's MIDI functionality, just follow the steps in this video. Create a new audio track and drop in the audio you want to process. Add Filterverse onto that audio track. Now create a blank MIDI track. Set the MIDI track's output to the audio track where Filterverse is loaded. Next, in the MIDI track's monitor section, set the monitor setting to IN. This ensures that MIDI notes are sent directly to Filterverse. Filterverse is now receiving both MIDI and audio in Ableton Live. To get notified about new tutorials like this one, as well as sound design demos and walkthroughs, make sure to subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon. You're also invited to join our Discord community. You'll find the link in the description below. Thanks for watching and enjoy your journey through the expanding Filterverse.